prove that if x and y are odd, then x plus y is even. Here, x and y are integers. Let's go ahead and go through the proof very, very carefully. So proof. So first, uh, recall what it means for an integer to be odd. So we say that x is odd if x can be written in the form 2k plus 1 for some integer k. So for some integer k. So this is the definition of what it means for an integer to be odd. So we're going to need to use this in the problem. By the way, this goes both ways. If x equals 2k plus 1 for some integer k, then x is also odd. Uh, even though I only wrote if, it does go both ways. It is an if and only if. And that is because uh, this is a definition. Definitions are always if and only if, sta if and only if statements by default. Okay, this is an if p then q statement. So to prove this in mathematics, right, it's an if p then q, all you do is you assume p and then you show q is true. It's really, really important. When you do it that way, it's called a direct proof, okay, a direct proof. So start by assuming p. So we start by saying suppose, and then you just write down p in words. So suppose x and y are odd, okay, are odd. Now we have to show that x plus y is even. So I probably should have told you what that meant. Uh, x is even if you can write x equals 2k. In other words, if it's a multiple of 2 for some integer k. So for some integer k. We don't know what k is. We just know it's some, some integer. So we have to show x plus y is even. So it's kind of hard to do at this stage in the proof. So typically what we do now is we write down what it means for x and y to be odd. So let's do it in, in pieces. Since x is odd, this means x equals 2k plus 1 for some integer k. We could have done it together. I just figured let's, let's break it up, be a little different for some integer k. Now let's write down what it means for y to be odd. So since y is odd, y equals, now we can't use the same k. We cannot guarantee that. So let's use another letter. How about n? So 2n plus 1 for some integer n. Okay, so we wrote down our hypothesis. We supposed x and y were odd. Uh, we said that since x is odd, what does that mean? We wrote down the definition. Since y is odd, what does that mean? We wrote down the definition. Now I think we're at a point where we can show that x plus y is even. So how do we do that? Well, the only way we can, right, to write down x plus y. So then x plus y, well, what is x? x is 2k plus 1. Right? We know that. So replace x with 2k plus 1. And then plus. And what is y? Well, y is 2n plus 1. So replace y with 2n plus 1. This is beautiful. So we have 2k plus 1 plus 2n plus 1. That's going to be 4n, right? Oh, no, not 4n, sorry. 2k plus 2n plus 2. I, for some reason, I thought this was 2n plus 2n. No, they're different, right? So, so we're here. So we have to show that this is a number times 2. Well, well, things just work out nice, don't they? We can pull out a 2 and write this as k plus n plus 1, where, and now at least specify to the reader that you know that this is an integer. So where k plus n plus 1 is an integer. You don't typically have to write y. You could. You could say because the sum of integers is an integer. Um, I mean, you could say that. I'll, I'll say it here because, let me scroll down. The sum of integers is an integer. So, so you could say that in your proof. Uh, again, if you're if you're taking an actual college level course, it would depend on the teacher. Uh, that's the honest truth. I I, I think it's clear, um, but the fact that you specified that it's an integer uh, kind of implies that you know why it's an integer. But 
it does not hurt to write it. So we have x plus y equals 2 times an integer. That's precisely what it means for x plus y to be even. So x plus y is even. So x plus y is even. And as always, when you're finishing your proofs, you should use a symbol. You can make up your own symbol if you like. Uh, I like to use a box with an X. I hope this video uh, has been somewhat helpful to someone out there trying to learn to write proofs. It takes, it takes a lot of time to get good at this, right? It takes a lot of effort and uh, lots of uh, time. That's it.